Give me your meat. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa, whoa. <laughs> hey, no, 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 no. Chill, oh, chill, 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 chill. Okay. Respawn, yeah, yeah. You're killing me. You're killing me. Okay, so uh, I'm just going to go ahead and call the elephant in the room what it is. Uh, this is going to mess up the algorithm. I know from the last video, people have unsubbed and everything like that as far as doing this respawn recruit stuff because they're like, hey, I subbed to a YouTube channel for product reviews, content creation education, and this is not what I'm subbing for. And people didn't really like that content. And I understand it from a content creator's perspective. Again, when you're uploading stuff and you're doing stuff that's not normally your main source of content and what you've been doing and you build up that so far, it messes up you as a content creator in your journey and stuff like that. Unfortunately, there's no other platform I can upload these videos to for this competition. So I, it is what it is, trust me. I understand it, but it is what it is. So for those of you that actually do wanna watch this or wherever, it's called the Respawn Recruits Invitationals. Last week, I did a introduction video kind of telling them what I do um, and, and kind of just introducing myself to other people part of the competition or those who watch the competition and stuff. Um, and this week we were supposed to collaborate with somebody else within the invitational. So I decided to collab with my brother. Um, and then on top of that, we were supposed to do something that we normally don't do or get out of our comfort zone as far as, you know, the content that we do produce. And it's kind of hard for me and my brother because we do a variety of content already. I've done like um, so many things I would say within my content creation journey from podcasts to vlogs to um, product photography I'm getting into that I just did a little mini photo shoot wherever for my son for kind of like his uh, kind of belated birthday pictures kind of things or wherever so I did, I've been doing that learning about you know cameras I would say as far as color picture profiles um, I stream video games I dance I, I do the both of those on stream and stuff like that like I said over here on the channel I do product reviews and stuff like that on Instagram like I said I'm starting to get into product photography and just like starting to probably take pictures of me and my family and stuff like I'm already doing a variety of content so there's nothing I would say that there's no way for me to try to do something new for this competition in this I would say regard for this challenge because I do it all so it's kind of it's kind of really hard uh, and in order to make sure that I was safe because I do have mental issues um, I picked my brother or whoever to work with because not everybody gets along with each other and stuff like that and for me to keep mentally safe and I've talked to certain people about it and they are telling me to get out of my comfort zone to work with other people but it's like the reason why I do what I do and the certain aspects of content creation that I've kind of honed in and stayed at is not because I'm uncomfortable or I'm scared to try something new it's because in order to keep me mentally safe and keep me in a safe place I do what I do and that's the reason why I choose to do what I do but outside of that like I already do a variety of content so I didn't know what to do for the challenge and me and my brother just decided on you know doing a podcast which will be released probably tomorrow and we were, we decided to cover I would say a free-to-play game on Steam and uh to kind of review and give our I would say personal I would say thoughts on the video game it is a genre of video games that me and my brother like don't really play as often or don't really play period but in my personal opinion I still play video games as a content creator so that's not stepping out of the bubble or doing something different than I already do because I already play video games as a content creator so I, I don't know but uh here you go here's that uh experience it was a it was an interesting experience if you're interested in the game I will leave it linked in the description because I think some people out there might actually like it enjoy the video my name has been Squid Ed Joe sprint shift okay that makes sense to kind of like crouch and sneak around as control okay Mm -hmm. jump is space bar all right that's cool mm -hmm. but then it goes switch to walk switch to run is the backslash and i'm like backslash. why is it way over like Bro, am i not using my control no, well she's a controller am i not using it. my is, uh, my mouse already, for anything this has already turned out to be pretty bad i'm not even gonna hold you this is like why is that way over there is like am i not using my mouse to click on things like oh what symbol is that why is that way over there? <laughs> what? This is going to be uh, very, very interesting, to say the least. Uh, but welcome, everybody. Uh, my name is uh, Squid, and uh, me and my brother Platt are going to be testing out something called Dawnlands. It's a free uh, game that we found on Steam. We're going to be testing out uh, for the Respawn uh, Invitationals. And we were trying to figure out something that we could collab on that we both 
technically really don't do the only closest game that i think we played in recent years that was probably close to this is probably destiny 2 but this is like an action rpg role-playing free-to-play game on steam and it has multiplayer so we're gonna give our thoughts and opinions on this at the end but this is just kind of like our two cents on something that uh might be a hidden gem but also might not be oh i got a cutscene. oh my god it's so loud <laughs> it's so loud i skipped i skipped it <laughs> why is it Hold i skipped on. it <laughs> oh, he didn't warn me i bro I the cutscene worry. started i, I skipped I it immediately no sound, sound happened oh my god having to retreat after being I have to, defeated I so low already Demon Lord turned into wisps of oh, demon lords and stuff. So this is like anime. Hello. Awaiting the opportunity. To uh, it looks anime-ish. I see like a dragon in the background Rim on like Rimuru? the home screen. Rimuru, is that you? Where the curse I, that I don't know. They got like a weird egg-shaped rowlet on their cut screen. Like on their main page. Yeah, it kind of looks like a rowlet. Like an off-brand rowlet. <laughs> Palma? Not Power World. Was it Power World? Power World. <laughs> I thought Power World. I liked Pokemon. Pokemon is better than Pokemon. Don't at me. 100%. Bro, 100%. We were kids. I don't know if you remember it. But you asked me to log on? What? A register? What? Yeah. H hello? <laughs> register your account. Uh, next to where I agreed type thing is hitting. I was like, how do I confirm? There's like a, this little circle that's not highlighted or anything. Off to the left. <laughs> it's supposed to select that and then I, try to log in. Okay, log in for successful. Okay, I, I was I, <laughs> server list. Uh, I'm guessing you hit North America. Yeah. Guessing. All right. Um. Okay, my mouse is glitching. Okay, what? What is this? I had a notification, but nothing loaded. Okay. Um. How do I? No, it's so weird that you have that as at the top. Um. What is this? Is bro. Uh, bro, all right. Yeah, I'm not streaming, so I should be fine. It says graphic quality extreme. I feel like I should turn that down because you know it's a free to play game. It's still probably not good. Uh, frame rate, the highest you can go is 60. Oh my. Okay. Yeah. Um, I'm just gonna leave it and see how it goes. I did turn it down to medium though. Yeah, I changed my graphic quality to medium. I was like, that I'm not trying to play extreme 50%? on this. That was not 50%. I am sorry. Bro, I'm, ten that I'm telling you. That was not 50%. Bro. I don't care what anybody says. I'm going to turn it down to 20 and 30. Yeah, I was like, yo, I got mine down to 20, and it still sounds pretty loud. I was like, for them to say that was 50, there's no shot, bro. Yeah. That's... No shot. Yeah, I'm glad I forgot about setting up like, oh, my God, this is going to take forever, isn't it? Okay, I see all this stuff. Um other than like the backspace thing and then secondary swap what bro i'm telling bro these 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 keybinds bro secondary mm -hmm. swap is way on the other side of the freaking keyboard cannot modify Why? system reserved keys what bruh bruh some reserved keys what the what hello I have a keyboard in my you telling me that I can't use the numbers on my keyboard to swap weapons? Bruh. I have to use tab and the I forgot what that key is. The other key or whatever. Like who who reaches over there for tap like switching weapons? Like who who would reach Bruh. over there for that? Bro, the the backspace for whatever the the switch walk and the switch to run, like why is there a separate keybind when you already have a sprint? Like, I don't but even with that, even if you didn't have the sprint, it's like, why is that keybind way on the other side of the keyboard? I have to take my hand off my mouse to do shit? Like, why, why? And it's calling the numbers that can't modify reserve, system reserved keys. Like, what? System reserved? Oh, somebody wants to. Okay, yeah, because we're, what, building a, our own town or something? I, 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 yeah. I think so. Uh, maybe. So I, okay. That's why I said I'll just there leave we. it off because it's just me and you. Yeah. I doubt yeah. anybody randomly in the game. I, I don't know, but I doubt anybody randomly in the game is going to. Yeah, die. who's still playing this? It came out last year. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Let's just be honest. Be who still it, plays games after it, like two months now? I, I just, it <laughs> might be hidden gem, you know what I'm saying? I personally never heard of it, so it might be good. You know, the art. Looks so far good. with the keybind thing, <laughs> that I'm already. Come on, hmm. bro. Come on. We're supposed to let this. 
let this give 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 our our you know first impressions you know what i'm saying it's, it's, my first impression my first impression oh just to let you guys know i am platinum you know i usually play apex <laughs> and like fps's but Holy. trying something new with my voice with my brother squid i would like to say that i just have a a, a, a positive outlook you know what i'm saying because like I said, i'm positively might... going to not play this ever again <laughs> and you see why i, I said not to waste money for this thing because we don't know <laughs> if we were gonna find a gym or not so here we go ready okay. i can start now uh failed to log in please try again yep same <laughs> retry uh what is this what is this wrong let's start it again what oh oh Oh, okay, we got it. We got it. Okay, what we're in good. What am I looking at? Okay, let me go ahead and turn off the the, 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 the face cam. Face cam. All right, so we we looking like we got uh, some faces here. Um, it, it, for those more astute, this is kind of like a mixture of uh, anime and kind of a knockoff of uh, uh, that one game with that one guy that always has to save that one person. If, if you catch my drift from that from that we shall not name company because they always go after people who uh you know steal their stuff so uh <laughs> they recently just uh sued and like shut down some stuff yeah we're not gonna mention them because i'm not trying to get any copyright strikes because uh yeah um so who are you picking who are you going with here uh what is uh, this? Oh, am i gonna be a clown <laughs> like Dude, yo i kind of like oh you can spin them okay 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 yeah yeah uh, you can you can you can gruff looking dude i <laughs> you already know I, guys you yo, already know who this is supposed to be you know who this is supposed to be like you know who these guys are supposed to be it's clear bro it's so clear uh, right. i want the black and then iris i want that blue confirm all right, I like that. I like that. Look like I'm part of the best. And then makeup. We can put makeup. I think it's just like that blue. Or yellow. Ooh, I like the yellow. All right. Confirm. This. All right, whatever. All right. Uh, ooh, the type right. of armor. I like this one just a little bit more. All right, Am so I let's can... click complete, I guess. Yep, hit and complete. Uh, player name. Enter na okay. I mean, of course, of course. The one and only. Clap two no. Squid. I'm just gonna be like squid. I should have just called it a tentacle master. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> 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 All right. So we actually get to some menus. Uh, let's see. Single player adventure, create a world, all to yourself, explore, uh, visit. Vi your fans can visit your single player world and temporarily assist you in battles and stuff temporarily. Okay. Switch to multiplayer world. Single player worlds can be converted into multiplayer worlds when needed. Uh, you can enjoy, build, cooperate, team with your friends and stuff like that. Uh, okay, co-op adventure. Create a multiplayer world and invite your friends to settle. In the... Okay, so we'll probably do that. Uh, world buff. Worlds will provide experimental and ability based on the number of active players in the world. So the more players you get, the more type of experience and coins and tool ability. That's a... Okay. That's interesting. Um, there's also a sandbox mode. Okay, that's interesting uh let's see what is this uh, my friends add friends uh friend requests okay so i'm gonna have to add you somehow uh, uh, uh <coughs> where so is that located it's in the top right of your screen on like above to, single player and adventure that whole number yeah i have to, <laughs> type, I have to type that out yeah so like to, to add you yeah <laughs> like, i'm yeah, surprised I like my friends on steam like my steam list is not like popping up like hey i have a friend that's playing this he's playing it yeah right that's now. what i think so, is weird because like it asks like how you want to log in and if we chose steam like why wouldn't like our friends like populate 
like on here like does it even link to our steam or is it just like you have to create an account it's just creating something not actually linking stuff that's a uh, like any other game typically would already have like you know people linked especially if you're linking like a launcher so i i don't know i mean that's this a little is, weird this is making me wonder if this is actually uh a game at this point i'm i'm kind of i'm kind of wondering you know what i'm saying the 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 whole optimism is kind of taking a hit just a little bit you know what i'm saying uh, whoever did the art especially for the characters and stuff okay i see you popped up awesome um the artwork for this is really good yeah it reminds me of another game and i'm forgetting what it is like it's not a game like i played but it's just like like seeing like just the art style and stuff i'm forgetting well it kind of reminds me of uh zelda like the breath of the wild and stuff like that yeah kind of has that feel with that the uh, character designs and the artistry on it oh yeah um it says i can't visit your world i have to complete uh the quest called uh destiny calls to unlock the ability so i'm just gonna go ahead and jump into it yo i don't like the scroll on this game it makes yeah. me so mad because you can't Especially even click infinite, and drag it infinite like scrolls. it's, it's like my index finger is gonna freaking oh, cutscene. cramp up. Got, a, got a, another cutscene. Yeah, see, this is like 50%. I turned it down to 20% for music and 30% for sound effects. <laughs> this is like 50% volume for me. And I still got my volume on 60. Like in my audio routing settings. This is crazy, bro. So I'm going to say this right now. I named my co-op world recruits domain and it said it was an inappropriate name. I just, I need that one explained. You just fine. Nah, 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 we'll save, we'll save. <laughs> what is wrong with re recruits domain <laughs> inappropriate? Did recruits got, land works oh my god <laughs> this is so <laughs> bro why do i need to scroll for this there's barely any text at the bottom like why do i need to scroll for this just to make it fit in the box why especially that bad of a scroll enjoy oh, no. the scroll dude enjoy oh, that's a weird eyelid <sighs> hey it's relic this guy um oh I oh my god <laughs> what <laughs> Yo. <laughs> just to let you know my dpi is 800 i'm just saying that i am just good god bro talk about quick scope 360 like sports <laughs> like what is that bro I'm, yeah I'm, i don't like the scroll in this game but then the turning for your character is so it's uh, oh my goodness have you ever seen somebody jump straight up without bending their knees first you just seen them hop in the air and <laughs> <laughs> made it out <sighs> this sensitivity oh. bro i'm oh, not snap. joking not even gonna hold you that big ass bird how did it not catch me and kill me that looks like a pokemon dude i forget what pokemon that is but that's clearly a pokemon oh. they want to <clears throat> yo they want to talk about freaking power, power rolls <laughs> this rendering is terrible i mean i'm on medium settings so this this reminds me of like how the graphics look for scarlet and violet <laughs> yeah there's no up. way three swings of this axe took that down uh, low key this game is is it's kind of interesting i feel like yeah there's something oh my god i see what you mean about bambi you just uh like i said there's there's some things however obviously it's a it's free to play so it's not going to be the best as i would say as far as polished stuff but it has it 
so far it, kind of, it, it is kind of interesting the gameplay loop it's kind of interesting so far yes <clears throat> the movement everything seems pretty good I like the animation a little bit supposed to be a grass slime okay okay, okay. they're trying to weird so i can just pray at a poison statue and fix the corruption sanctify Dude, can't, can't i got holy here. powers you can't sit here and tell me this is not this is such it's so blatantly obvious oh my gosh bro if again oh there's a typo they forgot to put a space there I mean, are you really complaining about the typo when you have the whole scroll wheel thing <laughs> in the text box? That's not... Oh, God. Oh, okay, boxer. Give me some of that thatch, man. That thatch, you know what I'm saying? You, you know what I'm saying. You know, you know what I'm saying. Please tell me you know what I'm saying. I don't feel... Oh, what? 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 Oh, my God. What is that thing? No way you're telling me I'm supposed to fight that. What? This boy, big boy. I'm roasting some meat. Oh my God, Goblin Thug. He's he's a, he's he's a thug. He's thugging. He's he's doing the thing. He's doing the thing with the thing. Nah, I'm no, no, I'm good. I'm good, bro. I'm good. No, no, he's still fighting me. Uh, he should have been good. roasting your meat. I did roast You've the meat. Good. I'm good. <laughs> I, I roasted the, but he's like following me. Dude, he will not stop. He's, 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 he's uh, on level he's, four. Let's go. What is this? Oh, I found a chest. Sanctify. Found diamond. <gasps> it's a, yeah. uh, it's an elk. No, don't run from me. I just want to mount you. What? Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> hey, yo. Whoa. Hey, yo. Pause, bro. Pause. Pause, bro. Pause. <laughs> What are you? What are you talking about? Birds. Well, now he's easy to beat. Yeah. Seeing that the crisis has been averted. How are you guys doing? Are you hurt? Monsters are really strong, right? The big guy almost shattered my entire roof. Oh, oh boy, right? didn't even touch you, bro. like level one of cod zombies the barrier they're just standing looking at it like yeah. oh oh no I, I i can't do nothing about it ain't like i can take like two steps like to the side to go around to the obvious open road it's <laughs> like no perfect like i'm telling you the one ai dude was just shooting rocks at two goblins that were up on a hill that weren't even like coming towards us he was just standing there for a while and then he'll shoot one arrow stand there for like another like 10 seconds and then shoot another arrow. The AI system is not the greatest. What is this game that you picked, bro? Like, I don't get it. <laughs> I picked. <laughs> I'm just... hey, hey, don't put me on blast. Come on, come on. I didn't pick it. Come hey, on. I didn't say anything. I just said I picked. There's only two of us. <laughs> it's all your fault. Whoever's watching this video, it's all your fault. <laughs> Friends, here we go. Hello, six. Uh, how do I invite you to my world? It just says a visit world. I can visit your world. Should I just go ahead and visit your world? Uh, you can if you want to come over here. I want to come over here. That's the whole point of the video. It, was, <laughs> it only took us an hour to get to the point to where we can actually... Has it been that long, bro? I <laughs> feel like we haven't done time. nothing. If we have not done anything, bro. Oh, people sending an application. So I did see that. The world owner has prohibited this operation. What? Can't Seriously? even. Yeah, I can't even open the beginner's chest like from when you woke up. Oh, there you go. Hey, bro. Hey. Funny that we picked the same hairstyle. <laughs> I mean, it was like the coolest. There was only one other one that I would have done, but. Yeah. Go to sleep. I can't. Hold on. I went to sleep and it turned daylight. It's already daylight for me. You just lay Hold down on. precariously and then woke up precariously. I don't. 
Yeah, it just what? says the world owner has permitted this operation. So. You're going to have to search for me. So you remember when it said co-op games and stuff like that? You can search or create your own space, whatever. Yeah. So you got to leave, go to a co-op game, and then search for the code I just gave you, my world ID. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Apply to visit, apply to settle. Yeah. yeah. Settle. There you go. It's so weird, though. You can't... You can't do anything for... Like, you still can't change visit? Yeah, you can't change visit. Because visit pretty much is like... Then why show that in the menu option in the first place? Because like, people can visit you. But you can't change it. And see your world and stuff. Like, you can visit, like, other worlds and different things like that. No, but it keeps I, I people can... from, like, messing yeah, can... with your stuff. Yay, I can do stuff now. Oh, my God. Let's go. Only took Let's us, like, an hour go. and 30 minutes almost. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> hey, how did you get a cloak? I got it out the entry, the entry uh, thing entry thing the tutorial place it was literally in the in the cave in the cave we're going back to the cave <laughs> yo look at plat not knowing some <laughs> give me your meat oh whoa whoa whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> hey no 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 no, no. Chill, chill, chill 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 okay okay we did all this to join each other and we ain't doing nothing together. Like I just realized like, I'm over here just killing goblins. Like, hey, this is cool. Dude, the amount of they even have like a battle pass. The amount of micro transact like I know it's free to play, but golly, bro. The amount gotta, of micro transactions. Gotta build stuff. Like I kinda get like the story and the premise and everything. Like cause I, I was obviously like speed re reading some stuff. Or yeah. about it, but it's like It was like so much microtransaction y. It's kind of crazy. And material on the thatch, man. The thatching it up, man. You got to thatch it up. You know what I'm saying, Platt? You got to thatch it up, man. Sometimes yeah, you got to thatch gotta it get up. that. I'm a thatcher. Whoa, 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 whoa <laughs> bro. Whoa, whoa. You know how many things I'm going to have to censor out of this video just to get. <laughs> <laughs> what? That wasn't bad. <laughs> Fish. <laughs> All right, boy. Yeah. Ooh, I like the sword. Ooh. Almost said it again. <laughs> no, mine. No, it's about the meat. <laughs> oh, my. You watching this video? Why are you watching this video? Uh, this. There's my meat's in the water. <laughs> oh, my. Well, there goes the any hope. So, what are we doing? Um, I need to heal myself. That's what I need. I need. First B. I'm not gonna eat raw meat. Uh, oh my HP god. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> for me, dude, is weird. Weird. Yeah. But, oh, yeah. One shot kill. Hold on, what hit me? Oh, there's a goblin right in front of me. <laughs> Oh, Yo, I was like, what is hitting like, me? Like, when did you gonna realize there's a goblin? Like, how zoomed in are you that you could I was scoped in on something, and I'm like... This would be kind of fun if you had multiple people, but I just... The amount of yeah. menus that pop up with, like, uh, microtransactions is kind of crazy. I craft me some reins, and you put your bed outside. <laughs> I, I couldn't put it inside because somebody made, like, the, the smallest house known to existence in a survival game. <laughs> When you have all this equipment, didn't even make a, a, a bigot thing. I had to make the roast, like, and then your crafting bench is like a mile away from your, bro. No, it's not. It's like right there, bro. Anyways, let's just do a quest. Are we, are we going to do a quest? What is the key binds on <laughs> how to left sneak control. again? Left control. Left control. Why can't I just do that to a, this deer over here? Dude? Look at him. So majestic. <laughs> you want to mount a deer? Nah, you want to mount the deer, dude. You don't want to over talking about meat. You want to use the antlers in an unforeseen way. I'm going to leave it right there. Pause. Oh, hey. Oh, this big boy. Oh, my. God. <laughs> what? Hold on. How do I mount him? Uh 
Uh. Oh no. Oh, what? I clicked it. What? I click. What? I did click too. Yeah. What? I'm clicking. Well, you got to click the circle. That's what I'm doing. What? Uh, bro, fell. what? What? No, my horsey. No world. Come back. I want you. I'm getting this horse. You know. Oh, damn it. Oh, no. You're going to be my horse. I just tamed him. I feel like you were supposed to fail the first mission. Oh, actually, no, you have <laughs> Go get him. Go get him. You haven't tamed him. You haven't done the whole hitching thing, so it, I think it happens afterwards. Uh, <laughs> this is so dumb. I don't know. I sped ran it, so I don't know. Because <laughs> of the scrolling, dude. Like, the text, like, make it smaller so it all fits. Oh, my God. Slow down. Get off the stupid thing. Oh, my God. I told you the turning and everything for it. Uh, it's not the best. No, no. I don't want to get on the... Oh, my God. Get off the freaking... Oh, I think it set me all the way back. What? Wait, did you go back to the starting area? Like through that part? Bro, you know where it sent me? Where? Like, you know when you first can sanctify that water yeah, at the beginning? Did you get way yeah, over there? That's yeah, what happened it sent to me. me over. That's exactly what happened to me. Bro, I didn't even do anything. That's how I found about the horse being in water. Because <laughs> I tried to ride Bro, back. this is... Oh my gosh, bro. That's awesome. Game is glitchy, bro. What are you talking about? This is like the best free-to-play game I've ever played in my whole entire life. Don't right. you dare disrespect. <laughs> Don't disrespect this game. <laughs> like ultimately, it's not that bad. Like it's well, really, no, we'll it's talk really about not it that bad. Let's talk about it in a second. Oh uh, shit! I have today. Sure do wish you could on this big spigot, like roast more than one meat at a time. I was like, yo, where are you at? Because it's like you got to make multiple. Like it's like, bruh. Did I take your meat? I don't even know. I'm just roasting it. Right <laughs> I could have said meat acquired. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. You know, weirdo over here talking about meat all the time. I guess, I guess we know your favorite mechanic of the Air is heavy and thick. That's what she said. Oh um. <laughs> This guy. Did something come to mind. <laughs> this what? Wait, what? Yo, that's what she had to select. It's like there's something. <laughs> Wait, wh what? I mean, I don't. I definitely mess mess read that because I was like speed reading, but oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's right. another possibility. It could be um, that the monsters are attracted to evils. Requires withered mask as a key. Oh. Um, Recommended level 21. What level are we? Or do we I'm receive? like level eight or something. I think I think I was matching oh. key. What do we see? F I can break the seal. I'm level nine. No, you can't break the seal because you click on it. It says recommended level 21. I'm level eight. Jesus. I'm level nine. <laughs> Recommended equip level 20. Oh, you're currently equipped level 8. So I am. So, and then we need like two of those masks. This grassland monster camp. Uh, Bruh. Work All those are like blue and defeat, green items. Defeat the Kanye to unlock. So this is just. What is yeah. it? You're checking us. Like how they do in Destiny. Why would they give us a. Yeah. Why would they even give us a. Like that was so quick. Like technically, we probably could have speed, speed ran that, but it's like within the first, we're only, I would say like first hour to twenty minutes, we probably could have got this. Yeah, because it took us but, about like an hour to get to co-oping. So if you were playing this by yourself, probably like an hour and twenty minutes, if that, unless you were actually like kind of speed running it, maybe within the hour you could have got to this and got immediately gear checked. Yeah. So it's like I understand the whole yeah. point is it is like a loot kind of thing and like obviously like i get the concept of the game but it's like 
21 dude <laughs> yeah i i feel like you have to do a lot of like farming this is like how destiny one grind. was yeah a lot of just grind i'm gonna take that i'm gonna what the he passed out what do you even watch <laughs> what just happened an unknown world of full surprises try growing stronger what do you mean i pass I pass out from what <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. You don't know what happened? No. Just come here. I, it, come here. I I don't know how I pass out. I hit one of those barrels and it knocked us oh. back. And somehow Bro. you died and I didn't and I was like right on top of it. I'm so dead, bro. I'm so dead. Let's get back home. Let's just get back home. Alrighty, yeah. so uh, a brief intermission, and then I guess we'll talk about uh, our thoughts and opinions on this game. So we played uh, Don's Lands and, or Don Lands. Um, if there's a way to put it in the link in the description, I would try to put it in the video description if anybody was interested or intrigued by it. Again, it's free to play. Um, I will say there is no controller support. It looks like the menu systems and all that stuff like that i find it very hard that you would be able to even use a controller i would say so um just to keep that in uh in mind if you are interested in uh in this game uh based on what steam is saying we played it for 2.3 hours um i'm just trying to look at the actual uh it was released at, on august 2023 um it's single player multiplayer cooperative play there's like a sandbox mode where i think you could just build um they have like the co-op campaign or just like your own little worlds you can build apparently you can turn that into a co-op thing um the steam page and everything like that from it based off of like the videos it seems like even people like in in other countries and stuff play this uh my brother mentioned i didn't see it really populate but there's apparently like a list of servers or wherever i only saw one person on it maybe it was like a refresh thing that i needed to do but apparently there was multiple um multiple i would say servers and stuff running there there's like a community page where people are posting stuff or wherever on the steam library or wherever apparently people are doing walkthroughs of the game and everything so i mean i guess we could just first off and just go ahead and you know call out the elephant in the room this game copies a lot of stuff <laughs> i think uh straight off the bat it, 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 it copies a lot of i would say stuff out there like from we've seen references to like anime other video game characters pokemon stuff um and like zelda's references and like all this stuff uh what do you think of the over i would say the overall game plot like what do you what do you what do you think of your experience overall like it's something i could see myself playing like offline and just like chilling with some friends whatever doing stuff i like that it has a co-op mode it does have a feel of like kind of power world even though this came up before power world but i the graphics and everything reminds me of zelda ish type type uh style a little bit a little mm, cartoony ish more than what zelda is yeah it's more it, shell shade kind of yeah kind of it's oh yeah. and speaking on the multiplayer part i think i saw somewhere i forgot how many players but it's a lot of players that can be in your world i forgot the actual list but it said something out of so many players wherever it's it's kind of it's quite a lot i think um, yeah. so yeah you can get your friends in and play and stuff it it's a little hard to to figure out how to i would say do it or wherever um but you pretty much have to give your little id thing or wherever and make sure that they're a uh settler don't right click on your friend's name and go and visit world or wherever application that's not going to give you any permissions to do anything you are going to make sure that whoever's the server host has you down as a uh, settler instead of a visitor but um go ahead i'm oh, sorry i just wanted to point that out uh it's all good like yeah with that um with the world thing yeah it definitely showed like you can refresh it so you can see if other people have like their worlds like kind of like open and you can put in requests which is kind of cool that you can join up on other people's worlds and they can put like notes in like hey looking for this or just open world whatever for people to just come and play with that was kind of cool hated that it took me what hour and a half two hours to figure out like oh you can just 
right i mean left click and then scroll up and instead of having to scroll wheel the whole time because the scroll build thing is bad scrolling through everything was kind of like a hassle especially when you're trying to just look at simple things but ultimately it's like i would say the game mechanics on it is kind of like blocky and stiff especially with like riding the mounts it was just like oh it was kind of not making me nauseous but it's just like i can feel like it's it was just like uh, galloping it wasn't smooth like the processing moving like kind of like the running and different things like that jumping around it was just so like when you jumped it wasn't fluid it was kind of like i jump in one place type thing it's just like it's really just kind of like you hit a wall and it's just like oh it has to activate the the movement mechanic and it's like uh but it's a free to play game and you know with the coloration the artistry and stuff like that it's like what do you how much do you really expect for it and then the ai in the game bro <laughs> like i i feel like it's one of those games where the ai is not that like impressive and the further you go up in difficulty because like we got obviously gear checked um i feel like it's gonna be like the ai is not that good but they're gonna be like a tank you know what i mean like they're gonna tank damage and they're gonna hit you hard that, that goblin was the like goblin i'm thug. pretty sure the, the, the goblin thug definitely <laughs> gear checked us but it's just like the you can time it's it's uh like it swings and stuff like that and that's how i defeated it it's just like i learned a pattern so i was like oh if i do this many swings by this time like i can dodge you know type thing it's just there it's the, the ai is really linear there's no like oh it's going to do this it's just like it's very basic movement and then with the aiming with the bow like literally you're sniping things with a wooden arrow from like 400 meters away come on yeah, that, like that aimbot is <laughs> that aimbot is crazy bro <laughs> the max, the max are crazy. But, like that that shouldn't be happening i sniped a bird and I wasn't even trying i'm just like i wonder if i can hit it from here i thought there was gonna be like some drop off no that thing is a laser i do want to say that it has a, a overall mixed review or whatever um 50 percent of it of the 2064 player reviews um are positive so it's like 50 50 split no. um based on uh on it or wherever um it it you can link your steam account and stuff like that that's that's pretty much fine um it supports multiple different languages um the auto audio or wherever is just all in english though unfortunately like any of the i would say cutscenes or anything like that but it has sub uh, subtitles and interface uh for um eight different languages so, you know, it's kind of diverse right there. Um, obviously, it's an indie title. I've never heard of this uh, CSUN Games uh, PTE uh, thing or whatever. But, it's, you know, it's an RPG, an indie game, civilization, uh, adventure, action, stuff like that. Uh, kind of like an RPG kind of game. Um, it, it's definitely different than the, the any games I've played recently. And that's kind of why I kind of picked it for the whole Respawn uh, Invitational. Because we're just supposed to play something that's... Uh, or supposed to do something or whatever that's a little bit out of our comfort zone and for me i never really played too many games like this probably like minecraft or raft or wherever but <clears throat> those are very isolated incidents in minecraft i haven't really like really really played in like years and when i did it was like the pokemon i would say stuff so doing the survival like even in my gameplay like i forgot to like eat and stuff like that so there's like so many things that you have to micromanage i would say and there's so many different menus like different oh. buttons to go through different menus to craft and stuff like that so it's very it's not as easy as i would say like in minecraft where you open up the inventory and stuff like that and it's very easy to navigate the menus and obviously minecraft took a while to polish and get to where it's at now but it's like this menu system there's so many pages where you have to collect all the rewards and then like if you're one of those sticklers about having like exclamation points or something like highlighted and it just kind of buggers you like you have to navigate through the menu and find stuff and then it's like even though it shows you stuff and it's like so much reading and i understand like it's a lot to take in or wherever at the beginning so after a while you get used to like where the menus are at and stuff like that you'll figure stuff out and there's going to be a lot of pop-ups and telling you about because there's a lot of mechanics in the game especially like a survival crafting game but it's like yeah. there's so many in the individual menus you have to go through and navigate and find stuff and, and tune stuff and 
And it's just like, bro, there, there has to be like a more simplistic way of of doing this kind of thing. Because I feel like it's one of those you just kind of sit there and you just space out and you're just playing it. And the next thing you know, three hours, four hours pass by. You know what I mean? I, I feel like yeah. it's one of those things. And like keeping it interesting and entertaining, like even for a video or, you know, a stream would be hard. But this is one of those, like, like Platt said, you know, you get some friends together. I forget how many people you can have, but I'm pretty sure it was like a big number. Um, getting like four friends together and you just playing this or wherever and just, you know, shooting the breeze. I think it would be really good. Um, another thing is, it is free to play. There's a lot of things that I was seeing about like the many different um, in-game currencies that you can pay money for i just kept seeing menus left and right five dollars for this twelve dollars for this battle pass all this stuff like it, it's making sure yeah. that you see those menus you know what i mean so yeah all um, those subliminal message pop-ups was kind yeah. of annoying every time you collected something or got an achievement and it's like oh i'm kind of collect my items but it's like hey you collecting these items but here's some more diamonds you can you can pay for more it's like it's only four dollars and it's like bro Chill, yeah. chill with that I, it's obviously it's better than other games where other games kind of kind of gatekeep you into like you have to kind of like get microtransactions to like do anything or really progress other than that you have to wait yeah. a certain amount of time in order to do something so it's not like that egregious but it is kind of just shoved in your face like hey pay us pay us pay us pay us like i said it has some it's glitches wherever there's a lot of uh texture pops in and even even like having it on extreme graphics like i turned it up halfway through um because i was just recording you know 3080 and the pc all that stuff and it still just didn't feel like i actually made any kind of graphical improvements going from medium up to this uh so i don't know overall i give the game out of five i gave it like a 2.5 or three and this is coming from somebody who doesn't play these types of games like i play mostly fps games um I think these kind of games are cool, or whatever, but my time is kind of limited. It, I feel like it's just like kind of like Minecraft. That's why I kind of stopped playing it. It's just after a while, it just can't hold my attention. Like for me, I would say like, if you like, like a looter survival game, like this is it. Like it, like only thing I could compare it to right now is like Power World. For me, it's like this, like, like you said, it's like, this is not a typical game that I play like at all like power world was like the first time i've played like a survival game in like the like i think like ever i don't play games like that i've never played minecraft it's like i don't like power world it's like the first time i did something like that to where it's like i have to if i'm walking around without a freaking torch i'm going to freeze to you know to death like like literally that's a thing in power world is like you have to walk around with a torch to stay warm or have like a pal that's like a fire type to where it's like you are staying warm by it like I'm not used to that type of thing to where it's like, oh yeah, it's like I've been running around, like I need to feed myself. <laughs> like <laughs> that's not a thing, you know? Yeah. It's just like I, I'm used to like stimming myself, like healing, or putting some like you know armor plates in. It's like that's I'm I'm a freaking first person shooter type person. So it's like playing something like this, like it remind me of Power World, but it's like I feel like Power World is like way more advanced. Like one, the graphics. And just the smoothness of like everything was a lot better. There's still issues with Power World, in my opinion, but like this was like just something different and it's like more basic. So it's like if you just want to, you know, like, you know, Squid was saying, it's just like having something to like refresh like your palette on, like, hey, I've been playing Minecraft forever. I've been playing Power World forever. It's like I want to play, I want to play in this genre still, but something different and not, you know, break the bank. Like it's good for that, but ultimately, like I would still, yeah, like Squid was saying, it's like my rating out of five would probably be a two, two point five, and that's just me saying that one, just like the menu system, it's not the greatest. It's like I shouldn't have to click through like four different things to get to where I need to be because it's like oh I need to go here, 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 and then here, and then like unlocking stuff. It's just like. Oh, I have to lock in this menu, go back through these other menus to go back out, to go back to craft. It's like, that <laughs> makes no sense. Like yeah. it, li like just like literally I, w I will go into craft. I can't craft, but it says I can unlock. I unlock it, but then I have to back all the way out to go back into craft. That's dumb. Like yeah. that, that, that makes like, I should unlock steps. it and then be able to craft right away. Like that. I, I don't know. Like it, like the, the system is kind of 
wonky in that in that astral in that you know spectrum of the game and then just the graphics itself you know it kind of brings down the thing and then also it's just me not being like interested in this type of like game it's like yeah i'm gonna give it like around like 2 2.5 like it's it is what it is but i can see i know people that like those type of survival games you mm -hmm. know building worlds and different things like i feel like it has potential but it doesn't have that much potential because it's like limited on stuff even with me looking at what was available to like build and different things probably like later down the road you'd be able to like build more but it mm -hmm. seems like it's a looter compared to like other games and stuff like yeah they have looters but they have things to make it more efficient this seems like you're the one roaming around and grabbing all the materials and doing different things and like a lot of people nowadays have gotten away from that to where they have stuff like automatically farming things for them so it's like i guess not a looter it's more like a farming like doing a farming sim like one of those farming simulator things you do on your phone where that you get a bunch of things and do stuff for you and you just collect yeah. it like that's that's yeah it's like that's how this game should have certain processes like automated like when we're roasting our the meat or whatever it's like i have to literally put like one two at a time yeah and wait 10 seconds. like, like with, that with was the, like with the, with the, the thing is like the, the the spit like you have to put like one meat and then like you could see spacing on it that I could yeah. put at least like two more by his side and it's like I, I again we didn't play as much or whatever so there might be something further along that allows you to yeah. cook more at once or you know maybe like a popper stove or something like obviously this is yeah. just like us playing and i feel like it's one of those games where the longer you play the more deep you go into like the story or like leveling and, and building stuff and getting more i would say invested into the game the more probably there are easier things more automated stuff this is the type of game i would play like once every like week or something like that just sit down with some friends or whatever and like kind of catch up and you know do something every now and then but it's not like an everyday thing but i feel like this is like a grindy game like we were yeah. talking about when we got gear checked like this is a grindy game where you're devoting like this to be your primary game that you're playing and other games take a back seat and me this type of game just based off of what i played so far I am not like again like if me and my brother played this or wherever it'd be like once a week you know what I'm saying on the weekend he'd be yeah. like yo you, you know I've been kind of wanting to play that game we played the other day and I'm like oh oh yeah sure I'll, I'll jump on and like we do stuff but me going about myself playing it by myself it, I maybe like once every in a blue moon I might do that I don't know if I would stream it but you know every now and then I might play it or something like that just to have some quote-unquote fun but I don't see me and it's not I don't think it's like the genre of games I just don't see me because I we play destiny and like we know fly yeah. destiny for me and my brother have oh, yeah. definitely one and two or for the longest and then we switch to different games so I, I I don't have a problem with like having a main game and then other games taking you know a back seat I just feel like this is one of those games where you have to make it a main game and to me the little bit that we did play up until we got gear checked um with all the you know even taking into account of all the errors and all the like trying to get us to even be able to play together and do stuff um even with that taken out and just like the gameplay loop and what we did experience i don't see enough here and again it might not be given it enough time but i don't see enough here for me to actually like i said dedicate this to be my main game or that type of game at least for me and like even on the page or whatever it just says multiplayer but like when you go into the game and like we were doing and stuff and everything they kept advertising like the whole server thing and like joining and stuff and not having it like easy to do that on top of it and then when you get into the game and you see the menu navigation for like all the different like stuff or where it's just it's it's too much it's so yeah 2.5 i'm it's a hidden gem I do see myself like maybe in the future or something like that, hitting my brother up and be like, Hey man, you want to, want to go back to that game we played for like, a little <laughs> bit? like I could see that happening. So th that's yeah. why I give it a 2.5, but it's not, it's not going to be my dedicated game. Yeah. 2.5, like slightly yeah. below average. I think there's probably yeah. games, like I said, in this genre that obviously do it way better. And then probably yeah. there's a free to play game out there. That's probably way better than this. So I'm glad that, you know, the Invitational has allowed me to, I guess, quote unquote, step out of my comfort zone and find a game like this. That's pretty cool. And on top of that, like play a game with my brother, which we, even though we're brothers, we have totally different 
by schedules and, and all yeah. this stuff. So we were able to actually like, you know, collaborate and like actually play a game together. And I think the last time we played was maybe Apex and that was like like that what? was still like two last year ago? sometime. Yeah, like a year ago, like two years early, ago. Early early like last year. <laughs> yeah. So it's but, like yeah. You know, I think it was before was, your son was born. <laughs> well, yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's like I think it's about like two years yeah. ago. Because I think is. it was even before we I came down and visit. Yeah, it's, it's like two years ago. The, the Dang, yeah, yeah. So I mean, it, it was cool yeah. and everything. It's just, yeah, I, I could see myself like next week, the week after, be like, hey, bro, you want to kind of check this out for like an hour and see we we can progress <laughs> the storyline? Because I'm kind of interested in it. It's it'll, it I, I want to see. I want to see. I want to get the like at least that. 21 so yeah. we can see what this first like main quest because it's like it's like oh, let's do the main story the main one of the main story the thing was to get on a mount like bro come on like is that is that main story type thing i kind of like, see it i see it more as a tutorial kind of thing i think what we're about to uh, do is the main story because this well no it was a part world, of main story quest was well, to get the horse yeah but i think it's it's i still would say it's kind of tutorial like main yeah. quest because you're gonna need a mount because of yeah how, true how big it looks like the big the world could be yeah yeah so i i can see them being like making sure the player gets a mount i so i can understand that but because it did say in there it's like so that you can reduce the time and stuff so running and stuff you got your horse yeah but even with that hard it was mm. another thing that like bothers me with it it's not too scenic everything seems like the same when you're moving from place to place and it's just not too many it's not really scenic to where it was like ooh, Stuff let me go look over out. here Ooh, yeah. let me look at like power world i was so amazed on like just different rock structures or different areas and like how things just changed as i went into different zones and this it was just like everything just looked the same like it was bare basic and it's, it's a free-to-play game i get it power world you pay 30 dollars. you know it's like you get what you pay for i i get it but it's just like i've played other free-to-play games to where it's like there's uh, there's two kart racing games that i've played there was one free to play it was really really basic and it was kind of like playing was a mario kart type thing but then i got another free to play game and it was like disney speed storm or B speed racer or whatever and the graphics were like a hundred times better and it was just like crazy with the sound effects and stuff and different things and i'm just like uh they're both free to play though but one just has better graphics and stuff. So it's just like free to play games can do better. You know, it's like, yes, as on the company, because the other one was Disney Kart Racers. So Disney funded it, obviously, yeah. maybe. So it's just like they got money. Disney got money. I get it. I, I understand. But it's just like you couldn't change up some of the rock structures more. And it's like very basic with the scenic. So it's like with Power World, I got lost i wasn't even leveling that fast because i got lost and just like roaming around just looking at stuff yeah. instead of leveling this one i was trying to level and just get stuff and it was just like everything just seemed so big even like the creatures it was just like they're kind of blocky in a sense it wasn't the best structured and it was just like eh. and then seeing that like when they got disturbed there was like question marks popping up and like really did i really need to see the question mark pop up it's just like certain features it's like i think was uncalled for so that's why my rating was like a two to 2.5 like it would go up to a three if they would fix like you know the sensory type things when it comes to the game the like atmosphere and like how everything was structured and looked like at least change it up going into like different zones and like different things and then also with the key bind thing bro if they improve those i would say it's like a three but any higher than that it's like kind of hard for me because I'm not this type of gamer. It's like, I'm not like into this type of game. So yeah, hundred percent agree. I, I, I think I, I, like I said, I think I agree with the whole steam, like being mixed, like 50%. Yeah. I, I, yeah, I agree with it. Yeah. So if you're interested in the game, uh, you've probably seen it like on the screen or wherever again, it's called Dawnlands all together of uh, free to play in the store or wherever on steam. 
um i'll try to figure out a way to like get, get the link or whatever and put it in the description of the video but yeah thank you guys so much for uh watching this video uh, we, it's been like three hours of us doing all this <laughs> stuff so this video will probably yeah. be like at least an hour long i would imagine because obviously i want our talking thoughts on it and wherever at the end and then like as much gameplay and, and stuff that was happening or wherever within the video so um yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed it uh it's probably gonna mess up my youtube algorithm by uploading something <laughs> like this uh because i mostly do like the product reviews and stuff like that um if you are interested in my brother's side of things or wherever and want to check it out his content it will be linked in the description to um his uh all his content or wherever probably get like a tree link or something like that so you can see all what he does or wherever awesome content great over there and i'm not just saying that because he's my brother um so definitely <laughs> appreciate check him you out. bro <laughs> no problem definitely check him out and um yeah we'll see you guys uh for another type of content that we're going to be doing for the respawn recruits uh invitational so probably drop later this week or wherever so depending on when you're watching this it might already be up it's going to be some type of podcast kind of thing and then i'm going to be editing all this stuff tomorrow so <laughs> it's going to be great <laughs> You know what I'm saying? It's gonna uh it's gonna ruin my schedule for everything trying to get this stuff out. So we'll see how it goes. Uh with that being said though, y'all take care. You know, have a squid task day. God bless you and yours, and we will see you guys uh in the next one. Deuces, everybody. See you. Deuces.